I know that this isn't the first video you've watched about customizing your FL Studio and most of the times you try them, they don't really work. Well, I've got the perfect solution for you right here, right now in this video. Well, let's get right into it. Sage. That's sage. What's up fam, it's another good day and on today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to customize your FL Studio from looking like this into this and I want to shout out to Axion for suggesting video so big shout out to you man first you want to go ahead and download the files i'll leave the link in the description now let me explain why your skins doesn't work most of the times you try them see the problem comes from the version of the fl studio you use the skin pack was originally made for fl studio version 20.7 that's why when you try to install your own skins they don't work well this is the best part in the resource file I left at the description below, there is a setup for FL Studio and I included the instructions on how to install them and I also left a little mystery pack for you so make sure you check that out. So we're gonna start by unzipping the package. The password is SageTrail. All right, once you got that open, we're gonna see three folders in here. We got the efforts to your setup, but right now we're gonna be focusing on the skins folder. So you wanna go ahead and open that. Okay, we have the FL Skinner application and the skins folder. So you want to go ahead and launch the FL Skinner app. Great. Now we have to change the FL Studio part. By clicking on this, it's going to open a navigation panel. So you want to go ahead and locate your FL Studio application by going into your computer. Gonna look for program files. Then your image line and then FL Studio. Great. Now you wanna make sure you select FL64. And now you wanna go ahead, press open. Now that's it. Next, you want to go and select the skins folder and it's going to take you to its own skins folder, which is currently empty as you see. Now we're going to go back to the skins folder in the resource files. You want to select all the skins and hit on copy. Then go back to the other folder and paste it there. Great. Now you want to go ahead and click on create auto launch shortcut on desktop. This will create the customized application for you. Now to see the skins folder we added, we are going to have to close the skinner application and launch it again.
great now we can see all the skins we copied you want to go ahead and select the skin there's a lot of skins here select anyone and then launch your fl studio Great, we can now see what an incredible view here. To make things easier for you, you can go ahead and pin the application to your taskbar. So you can use it whenever you want, just at your go place. You can come back to the Skinner app and change any color you want, any theme, any skin. And now you can enjoy your skins. Well, that's it. I hope you really enjoy this video. And the resources i give you make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on the notifications so you don't miss when i publish a video and also comment what you want to see next on this channel peace